Today, we are predicting NFL Week 11 games. Let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. So we'll start with the Thursday night game. Tonight, the Tennessee Titans go to Green Bay Packers. It's going to be probably a heavy run game because I think it's only going to be like 20 something degrees. Packers are going to have to stop Derrick Henry. We already know this. The Broncos play very well against Derrick Henry last week. I think the Packers do this week. I don't know predict the Packers here. It just really depends on if we're going to get the Packers that played the Lions a couple weeks ago, or we're going to get the Packers that played last week against the Cowboys. Next, we're going to have the Commanders at the Texans. Commanders just came off a huge game after giving the Eagles the first loss, and the Texans aren't really that good at all. Go ahead, give me the Commanders. I'm giving the Eagles to bounce back against the Colts. That will be something else if everybody was talking crap about the Jeff Saturday hire. And he goes and beats the Philadelphia Eagles after just winning his first game as well. Panthers at the Ravens. I'm a Panthers fan. I love the Panthers, but go ahead, give me the Ravens. We've sucked against the run this year so far. And obviously Baltimore is a heavy run team, whether it's Lamar Jackson or the actual running backs. And I don't think we're really going to be able to score enough to keep up with the Ravens. Maybe Baker Mayfield goes off, but I highly doubt it. Next, we're going to go over to a divisional rivalry, the Jets at the Patriots. I think this is going to be a real fun game, but go ahead, give me the Jets. They've just been looking so much better than previous years. And the Patriots, I really don't know what the Patriots are like right now, and I'm not really confident in that team. Next is going to be the Browns at the Bills. Here's the situation we have here. It's supposed to be like four inches or five inches of snow. So with that being said, it's going to be heavily run game. Now, I think the Browns really do have a lot better running game than the Bills, obviously. So if it snows that much, give me the Browns here. The Bills losing their third game straight. Everybody's probably going crazy at this point. There is a good chance that they're going to push it back if it gets too crazy. So if they push it back and it's not snowing, give me the Bills. So Raiders at the Denver Broncos. I've heard that Russell Wilson is literally calling audibles that he did, he called in Seattle. The Broncos players don't know the calls. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, you take it with a grain of salt. But with that being said, the Raiders are looking absolutely oblivious right now. Uh, I really don't know what their team is doing at all go ahead give me the broncos next we have the Bengals at the Steelers. this game got flexed out of sunday night football last time we seen these two teams face off week one and the Steelers came out on top i think this will be a really close game tj watt is back if tj watt wasn't back i would obviously pick the Bengals. no jamar chase i think it's gonna be real close give me the Bengals. We'll go ahead and do the Sunday night football game since it's on the side. Chiefs at Chargers. Go ahead and give me the Chiefs. I mean, the Chargers aren't looking great. And I think it's time to have that conversation that they probably won't get into the playoffs this year. Rams at the Saints. It's kind of sad that I think this will be a close game. The Rams not looking good at all. Saints not looking good at all. But I'm going to pick the Rams. I think they're bad. I don't think they're that bad. Lions at the Giants. Hear me out. There is a game every week just about where an underdog team beats another team that nobody thought that was going to win. I think this could be it. I think the Lions have been playing great football. Uh, they've come off two wins now. They're on a hot streak. Obviously, the Giants on a hot streak too. But with that being said, I really can't pick them. If if I had to bet, I would, I would go Giants. But trust me, this game could be either way. Bears at the Falcons. Give me the Bears. Justin Fields has been looking great. As long as you stop the Falcons run game, they really can't do nothing. Marcus Mariota looked absolutely atrocious against the Panthers Thursday night. Cowboys at the Vikings. Cowboys come off a tough loss. Was it a bad Packers team or is it a good Packers team getting back on track? Who knows? The side of Vikings just came off a big win against the Buffalo Bills. I think it'll be close, but give me the Vikings here. And on Monday Night Football in Mexico City, it's another divisional rivalry. We have the 49ers going against the Arizona Cardinals. Give me the 49ers here. I mean, I, the Cardinals have not been looking great at all. 49ers have been looking great, especially since they got Christian McCaffrey. I think that is an elite offense with Christian McCaffrey, um, Kyle Hughescheck, uh, Debo, George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk. I mean, that's really and all pro type offense. And that is my week 11 picks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.